Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I've got two new kits to preview and share with you today. Both of them from TACOM and both of them in 35th scale. We have the brand new TACOM Blitz, uh, Stormgeschutz 3G. And the Blitz series is a more simplified version of some of their kits, so they're not like, like a thousand parts type thing. Still very, very detailed, but a little bit easier to put together. And we also have the new M60A1 from TACOM as well. Very nice looking kit. In fact, this one is based on the kit that they came out with, I guess it's about two years ago, the one that had the reactive armor on it. And we did a, a video build on that one. But today we're going to show you the parts that are inside this one and this one right here. So let's get started. Okay, the first kit we're going to take a look at is the Stormgeschutz 3G from TACOM Blitz Series in 35th scale. The Blitz Series being the little bit, uh, little bit less parts, a little bit easier to put together. First thing I'm going to point out to you too, as many of you may remember, TACOM just released also in the Blitz Series their Panzer 3M with uh, the skirts on the side. And many of you may know and many of you may not know, but these two vehicles share quite a few of the same parts. So the lower hull is going to be the same. So the road wheels, return rollers, drive sprocket, idler, the actual tub of the, uh, the vehicle, and the tracks are all identical on these two vehicles. The main difference is obviously in real life, they had a much easier time producing the Stormgeschutz and it also had a larger gun. So the Stormgeschutz 3G was very, very, actually all the Stormgeschutz, but the, the 3G especially was a very effective vehicle and the Panzer III only had a 50 millimeter. So the 75 obviously helped out quite a bit in combat. So let's take a look at the, uh, the 3G right now. Okay, first thing we're going to take a look at is the lower hull. let you see up close on that. Now one thing I am going to point out, in real life the two vehicles shared the same lower hull. TACOM has done a little bit of retooling on this to help in the building of the Stormgeschutz. And first and foremost it's going to be this little bracing in here and that is going to be the little area that is going to mount the gun up from the, uh, the superstructure. I have right here my Panzer 3M that I'm working on right now and you can see there is no such thing inside. The actual outer side of the vehicle are going to be identical but the the inside they did change around a little bit to uh, to accommodate you know being able to mount the gun perfectly in the middle. Next we're going to take a look at the upper hull and like I said since I am working on the 3M I can show you what that looks like as well side by side and you can see how the engine deck and all that is all the same on here. This one they did include the little braces for the skirts. This is the actual Panzer III and the Stormschutz does not have that. I know later on they were putting the skirts on the side and maybe TACOM might be actually releasing that one down the road as well but this one does not have the, uh, the skirts available in this kit. And then we'll kind of just quickly go through the different sprues here to let you see what each one of the parts look like. This is some of the accessories. There is extra bolt-on armor for the uh, the front of the Stormgeschutz. Plus we also have all of this is slide molded right here. And there's, a, in fact, there's quite a bit of bolt-on armor over the entire vehicle. The uh, Panzer III has some of it, but uh, the Stormgeschütz has it on the bow plate here too. And the tools. And this is a new sprue, not uh, available in the uh, the Panzer III obviously. So here is that piece that is going to mate up to the, the hull of the vehicle. And then you will mount your gun directly on top of that. You also do get the 75 millimeter gun like we told you earlier and then a slide molded muzzle brake. Now the next couple of sprues are going to be identical between the two three between the two kits and if you haven't seen the other one I'll just show you quickly here. So this is our road wheels. You get two sprues of this. So you've got your road wheels, suspension, drive sprocket, idler, return rollers, all of the hatch tops for the, uh, the rear engine deck, the, uh, the gear housing, 
things like that. Like I said, two of those. Then you also get two sets of their link and link tracks. So as you can see right here, we have the long lengths of tracks. And then the top here too has a natural sag in it. And then the individual links are right here. And you can build those up. And actually I've built some of these before and they go together very, very well. Very easy to assemble. There is one other piece on the Storm Geschütz 2 that we need to show you. This is the upper superstructure. Looks like they've got nice weld seams inside there. Let me pull that back a little bit. There we go. And we also have the, the top of the superstructure with the commander's cupola going right here. And this is where the machine gun uh, up on top with the hatch on for that is going to go. Then we also have our photo etch. And this big tall, this big giant one on the goes underneath this back portion right here and then the two top screens will go right up on top in there. We also have a set of decals. Pretty easy straightforward stuff and there's also a piece of, if I can grab it here, a piece of flexible copper wire to make up the uh, the two tow cables that come inside. The... Now this kit is available right now and we actually even have it on our site at andyshq.com and in our store and they are available to purchase right away. Now we're going to take a look at the new M60A1 US main battle tank and this is also in 35th scale and I'll kind of just go through the parts kind of quickly like I said earlier this does share a quite a few parts of the M60 that came out a while ago the one with reactive armor which I'll put a picture in right now to remind you what that one looked like we'll kind of just go down the line if you haven't seen that build or you want to just curious what this one looks like here we have our turret our upper hull Our lower hull, you can see it's a nice, <laughs> really bathtub looking hull right here. And the sprue I'm going to show you right now, this is all brand new tooling right here. So we have our searchlight up here, which is slide mold, or actually not slide molded, it's an <laughs> extension mold on there. Then we also have new fenders some new boxes and a few other little accessory pieces next we're going to take a look at the uh, the main gun that is slide molded and then here's some of the accessories Next we have this sprue right here, the G sprue with a noticeably missing large piece of plastic, uh, which is obviously not part of this kit, but it makes me think that there might be a, a different upper hull that is available for something else because it's the exact same size as the other one, but that one came on its own sprue. You get this sprue right here. This has got some of the, uh, the bars for the back of the turret more accessories two of these sprues right here this is obviously our wheels and return rollers and I remember putting these on too this was an outer edge that went on pretty well right onto the edge of the wheel here because they actually molded both sides of the wheel which is not always common and we also have this sprue right here so this was our uh, idler and let me, then the drive sprocket, and of course all the suspension arms. Also have some, whoops, sorry about that, some photo etch. We'll leave that right so you can see it a little bit easier. And then lots of clear parts. This is for the, the searchlight, and these are all for the periscopes inside. And we'll also show you the, uh, the tracks. The tracks are very nice, even though they are rubber bands. Don't forget, American tanks are live 
track so it's going to be tight the whole time so you don't have to worry about a sag and actually I think they're done up pretty nicely I remember when I put mine together on the other M60 I remember them going on very very nicely and having no problems at all with them plus they also give you two little metal pins so you're not actually trying to glue or staple these tracks together you actually pin them together with it and lastly let you take a look at the decals that come in the kit you get a little bit of braided copper wire for the uh, tow cable and then for the instructions uh, I didn't show you the instructions on the uh, Storm Geschutz because they're very similar to the way all these attack them on so I thought I would just show you on one of them and it happens to be this one but you can see how clear the instructions are just show you how each one of the parts go on and they build up very well and actually this is not a ridiculous amount of parts and then all in the back here we have all of our different color schemes well there you go guys there's a quick peek inside the new uh, Tacom models of the Storm Geschutz 3G and the new M60A1 both of them are available here in the United States right now and we have them even on our website at andyshhq.com and in, of course in our store so I want to thank you guys as always for watching and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming